for a Perry woman, the hospital was not an option when she needed life-saving support right in front of the fire station. And now she's grateful for the first responders who reacted in a flash. Tonight, the city of Perry and Cheryl Tabey are thanking those nine men at a city council meeting with a life-saving award and pen. Sarah Hammond joins us live in Perry to tell us how Tabey is doing now. <coughs> Cheryl Tabey walked into work one July morning and told her co-worker Jason Poole she thought she was having a heart attack. So he loaded her into the truck, started driving towards the hospital, but when he realized they weren't going to make it, he pulled into the Perry Fire Department parking lot, started honking his horn, and those first responders came running and offered life-saving support right here on this sidewalk. When Cheryl Tabey walked into work on July 29th, her co-worker Jason Poole knew something was wrong. Poole put her in the car and raced towards the hospital. We didn't make it. We ended up in the parking lot at the fire station. Captain Kenneth Genthner says his crew was just sitting down to eat breakfast. Uh, we hear a truck pull up, honking the horn, look out the door, see somebody waving. Poole told Genthner she was having a heart attack and they jumped into action. When you're doing chest compressions, it can wear you out. It's very physically exhausting. But they kept going for seven minutes until EMS arrived. Genthner says when they checked her vitals, there was no heartbeat. But two and a half months later, Tabby says she's feeling good. I really appreciate what the guys at the fire department did. They, they were super good and, you know, I'd be dead if it wasn't for the combination of all of them. She spent three days on life support and went home six days later. Now she's back at work at Ace Hardware. It's God no, looking down on Nothing me. shorter than God's plan, God's will. God still has some yep. more work for Cheryl. To, Cheryl to do here. Genthner says he not only credits his team for saving Tabby, but also Poole. He says that quick thinking might have just saved her life. A lot of times it don't usually go that way. And we want to make sure we got all these other guys a chance to get this award so they can actually be thanked and, you know, thanked by the person that we were able to save. Tabby and Poole have worked together for the last 20 years, and she says she calls him her adopted son, but now she calls him her hero. Live in Perry, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Sarah. Tonight, Tavy and Poole have a surprise in store for those first responders. They're giving them a grill from the store so they can have a place to cook out at the station. Tavy says it's just another way to say thank you.